Hello Aquarius, welcome back guys. I hope you all are doing well today. This reading is going to be for anybody with Aquarius in their chart, okay? Um, flip and switch the roles and just take what resonates and leave what doesn't fit for your situation. Um, please be aware that there are scammers in the comments, guys, commenting on everything that you guys say, okay? Um, so if my name is not highlighted, it's not me, okay? So that's one important detail. I feel like that's all I need to say. Okay, if my name is not highlighted, that's that's not me. And if you guys are getting requests and um, messages and DMs on social media, okay, those pages are fake. It's not me either. Okay, so please don't get scammed. I don't even do personal readings right now. So don't get scammed. All right, guys, my real Twitter and my Instagram is down below in the description box. Anything else outside of that is fake. So let's see, Aquas. This is your next 72-hour reading. What's coming in for Aquarius next 72 hour spirit? What could they be expecting? What do they need to know about for their next 72? <clears throat> the world, number 29. I'm 29. Okay, somebody could be the age 29. Then we have number six, contract. Okay. So the world, this this could be a completion of a cycle here, feeling whole within yourself. Some of you guys could be getting ready to travel, move to a different state, city, country to fulfill a contract. Okay, yeah, to have a happy family. Wow, okay. Some of you guys could be going to court here, um, family court, okay. Something about children. You could be dealing with a Libra. I have Libra in your chart or any fixed sign. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, or another Aquarius. So let's see here. There's something balancing out for you, Aquarius. There's a contract here that you're signing or you're going into that you have to fulfill here. It could be in another place, a... a somewhere else here you're, you're being called to like move for some of you let's see what is this world card talking about with contract at the bottom of the deck what's the world card with the contract card so we have knowledge learning study wow and then we have learning here again <laughs> feeling tested with a situation searching for knowledge further education student discovering some truth Mm, okay, so a lot of learning. I'm getting Taurus energy, the Hierophant. You could be dealing with the Taurus. 29, that's 11. You guys would be seeing 11, 11. Okay, um, then we have six here. The lovers or somebody from your past could be significant. Let's see what else. Celebration, victory, achievement. Sagittarius had that, I think. So, bottom of the deck, another card of the world here, a globe. A globe is there. Travel, movement, foreigner. You could be dealing with the earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So, I'm definitely getting here. There was a big lesson or a major lesson here that's been learned. Somebody is applying this knowledge now to take, um, to go a step further and, um, their life okay somebody is coming out victorious okay there you are aquarius with the star yeah the will of fortune okay something huge is getting ready to happen for you aqua it feels like that let's see what is this knowledge right here what is this <laughs> some of you guys are Philosophers here. That's Sagittarius energy. Three of Swords. You could definitely be in school. You could be studying something, or you just learned a very valuable lesson here about life in general. What's knowledge? The Five of Cups. Someone could have a Scorpio um, Mars. So there's sadness here. There's like regret or sadness about the past here. There's something There's something that someone is learning that's very, very valuable lesson about their past or about something from the past here that's making you, making you quite sad. Okay, what else for knowledge with the Five of Cups? There's something here that you regret doing or 
regret putting yourself in possibly for some of you the nine of cups someone could have a pisces jupiter so there's like sadness or disappointment okay a loss you could be grieving a loss of someone i'm sorry to hear that aquarius if somebody passed away or the loss of something So this could be somebody here really focusing on self-care, kind of like learning how to put themselves first in situations where clearly people are not putting you, uh, you know, as a priority. OK, maybe you put other people as a priority. They don't put you as a priority. So this could talk about like self-care, really um, having that balance between selfish, being selfish and selfless. OK, you need a good balance. There is that shit is very like there's a thin line. OK, with that. Um Somebody here could be sad about how greedy they were or selfish they were or self-centered they were, just really focused on pleasure and pleasuring themselves. Here they weren't thinking about you. So this could be a regret here. But I see a wish coming in. Let's see what's knowledge. Okay, yeah, six of cups. There's that six. So you could have a contract here with someone from your past or there could be karmic contracts from your past that has been teaching you. Yeah, the Empress. <laughs> So definitely strong past life energy between you and somebody, a divine feminine. You could be a divine masculine or flip it, switch it. But yeah, someone is like very nostalgic. They're sad. They're thinking about you here. I feel like there's just sadness. I feel like somebody sees you as their wish fulfillment, but they did something that they regret. Okay. The world. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles. Some of y'all could definitely be moving for a job or you could be doing some work online here that's bringing you a, a, a lot of success. Okay, something that's going to cause for a celebration of victory. There's definitely a new offer coming in. Okay, yeah, somebody's like wanting to reconcile with you or they're thinking about you really heavy. What's this five of cups? What's their problem? Or what's your problem? The seven of cups for having options or for being confused. Okay, I feel like somebody is thinking about you, Aquarius, or sending you like telepathic communication. Okay, I'm getting like fantasizing or thinking about you, daydreaming about you. But this could also talk about options, making you an option, not knowing what to choose or which path to go down. Okay, somebody was confused about what they wanted, what they wanted to do. Yeah, somebody's sending you shit in your sleep. For some of you, you're getting dreams about this person or something like that. Seven of Swords, Five of Swords, and the Four of Cups. So someone here could be regretting lying to you, being mean. Okay, this person could have been mean to you. All right, they rejected your offer or ignored you, which caused a stalemate between you and them. Someone can have an Aquarius moon, Aquarius Venus, a lot of Aquarius. It's always like that, which I'm reading. I swear there's an Aquarius that did this to another Aquarius. <laughs> Okay, um, but yeah, somebody was confused about something that happened in the past. Okay, what's the Seven of Cups? Let's see what this is. Someone could have a Scorpio Venus. A lot of Scorpio here too already. Scorpio Sun is here with the Six of Cups. Yeah, somebody regrets not fighting for something or compromising with you. Somebody was failing to like work with you. They wasn't putting in no work. I feel like... This person is beating themselves up here. I feel like they feel like you don't have any respect for them anymore. Okay. Um, I feel like somebody was stubborn. But now I see them kind of like surrendering. But I feel like mainly they they did, they weren't up for the challenge here. That this connection brought. I feel like it was a challenge for you and this person to come together. They were not seeing something clear. They were not doing the work. 777 could be significant so this person was not listening to the warning signs or not listening to themselves they were too busy in their head here okay but I feel, I feel like now they regret something what's the nine of cups they regret being this way being rigid and hard-headed okay yeah the hermit yeah somebody somebody like i said is going with that could be a virgo here Somebody is going within to do the shadow work. They're going within to really do some soul searching to really figure out what it is that they want. And I feel like it starts with you. It all it starts with you. You have to see what your problem is and why you keep going down the same path with different people. 
So someone here, there's a light that's been shone on something within this person, or there's a light that's been shone on something external to this person or you. But I'm saying that somebody here is is they're they're wanting whatever this wish is that they've been thinking about. There's like a wish fulfillment coming in. Yeah, this person had to like find themselves. Somebody didn't know who they were. Yeah, the lovers, the ace of wands, wow, the will of fortune. Yeah. There's something that's happening here, Aqua. What's the Six of Cups? I feel like somebody is definitely coming out of whatever this is that they learned. They're coming out of this shit very wise. <laughs> okay, they ain't. Yeah, Ten of Swords in reverse. So I'm definitely getting whatever obstacle this was here, whatever betrayal this was. Could be a Gemini. But whatever betrayal this was here, there's a chance to overcome it. Somebody's overcoming battles here i'm getting like a lot of deep karmic lessons from someone's past maybe some childhood wounds some childhood healing inner child healing okay a lot of trauma from someone's past okay that someone is like working through it could be somebody here could be like very they have a poverty stricken mindset they don't somebody here needs to understand who they were and know their worth what's the ten of swords in reverse The tower in reverse. I'm, I'm, I just heard abandonment issues. Okay, somebody had abandonment wounds or codependency problems. The tower in reverse, so that's Aries energy. So definitely a chance for something to be healed. Okay, there's a very beautiful connection that you have with someone. I feel like someone here could have been trying to avoid. I'm hearing something about they're trying to avoid a loss somewhere. It could be something from their their childhood it could be something about children too somebody was trying to avoid losing a child so there could have been a situation that someone was dealing with when it comes down to their children that they couldn't just walk away okay or do something like that um yeah there was something that somebody didn't want to lose but it was inevitable something was fall it was going to fall apart inevitably Okay. Yeah. You had a strength card. Yeah, something could be overcame here. There's an issue, but I feel like it's, it could be overcame. Okay. I mean, overcome. <laughs> so it's learning. The page of cups. Yeah. Okay. And the king of pentacles. Could be dealing with the death of Taurus. Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So there's definitely an apology coming towards you, maybe from a King of Pentacles. It just is you apologizing to someone. But yeah, there, there's an apology here. I feel like somebody wants something long term with you. They want to commit. Some of y'all could, this could be your the person here that you're going to get married to later on down the line. But somebody is very generous. They're very kind, King of Pentacles. They're willing to share. So this person is willing to share with you or you're willing to share with them. Um, this could be a proposal here. <laughs> Somebody is getting ready to sit their ass down. Okay, like settle down because something about this lesson here that taught somebody something. It's like they don't even want to fuck with nobody else or deal with anybody else. <laughs> 9 11 on the clock. You guys could be seeing those numbers. What else for learning with the Page of Cups, King of Pentacles? I feel like someone here is following their heart. This person could be very shy or like timid. They, they don't. Um, they don't know how to communicate their feelings very well, possibly. So, yeah, I'm getting a very single independent energy. Okay, somebody here got some money. Okay, they got some money or definitely very wealthy, very gracious. Okay, somebody is seen as a nine of pentacles, king of pentacles. Mm. Some of y'all could be artists. You could be creating something here. You're doing something when it comes down to your money. Or somebody's looking to invest in whatever you're doing when it comes down to your work, Aquarius. This could be a business partner coming in for some of you. It's going to teach you some things about a certain business or a field that you want to work in. What's, what's the King of Pentacles? Well, someone here is definitely very abundant and they're good to work with. They're good with managing their money, their finances. They don't mind being like helping you. Okay, the Death card. Wow, the Devil, the Ten of Wands, the Five of Wands poking out. The death card here so yeah transformation 
There go the Taurus energy. So something is definitely ending, okay, for somebody. For some of you, someone here was committed somewhere. They were married. But the death card here is a transformation. Something is like completely over. Somebody transformed. They turned into the king of pentacles or something like that. Somebody here transformed. They changed. There's like a major ending happening in someone's life. It's making them a grown-ass man or a grown-ass woman. And what's the page of cups? In the next 72 hours? Yeah, the empress. So this is definitely coming. somebody coming towards you here. Towards Libra energy strong. Towards Virgo possibly. Someone is definitely coming towards you with an apology, okay? Um, definitely fertility. All right, so this apology might turn into something nasty, okay? So just, you know, I'm just warning you. But yeah, someone here sees too that you're very creative. You're very smart. You're very intelligent. You could you bear fruit here. Yeah, here's a fruit on this person's gown or whatever it is that they're wearing. And what's on her dress? I don't know what that is. Flowers? Yeah, those are flowers. So, yeah, this person here is very fruitful, very abundant. You could definitely create something nice with this person. Someone here is very charming, too. This person is shy. They're timid. But I feel like whoever this is can dress really well. They look really good here. Whoever this page of cups is that's coming in to apologize to you or vice versa. Someone, yeah, two of, wand, two of wands with the ten of pentacles. So, this is the person that you're you're going towards or this is them coming towards you because this ten of pentacles is here this is your inheritance something very important that's that contract okay you're supposed to be going towards this ten of pentacles okay and i feel like that's what you're choosing to do here you're turning your back on something and you're choosing to move forward this ten of pentacles might be across the world so you might have to move travel do something but this contract is very important it's law. It's something that you sh should be doing. I mean, you got free will, but uh, okay. Yeah. So there's an apology coming towards you. Okay. What's the nine of pentacles? Or some type of like expression of emotions or something like that. Yeah. The world and the two of wands. Child, I can't, I, I mean, I can't make it up. This nine of pentacles is somewhere else in a different location, in a different area. So this is like planning or strategizing here to come towards this nine of pentacles. Or this is what you're doing here to gain more, um, whatever knowledge that you've gained here, you're getting ready to move and level up in your journey. So I feel like definitely traveling, you have to physically do something. Okay, the world here. This could talk about internet connections. Okay, you could have met this person online or they met you online or you're meeting somebody online. But the two of wands is definitely either a business partnership or a um a romantic partnership. It could be both. Okay, because I'm getting power couple energy. Especially with this king of pentacles here, nine of pentacles, the empress. Somebody has somebody is on their shit here. Yeah, ace of pentacles, king of wands. Yeah. So a cycle here has closed out. Somebody here could be single. Okay, I'm hearing finally single. <laughs> so somebody here could have been in a situation. But um, yeah, this is this is closing out here. All right. Someone here could model. Someone is very nice looking. Maybe both you and this person. Y'all have very nice faces. Okay, <laughs> like um, nice bodies. What's celebration with victory and achievement? Knight of Wands. Definitely another card again of taking action, traveling, taking a risk here that usually leads to success. Okay, what's victory with achievement and celebration? Knight of Pentacles in reverse. What else? Eight of Cups. So <clears throat> you guys could be walking away from somebody that you really can't depend on here. Because I do feel like there's another energy. Some of you guys also feel like you're unskilled at something. You're not good enough for something. I feel like that's not true. All right. But you could be unskilled in a certain area of your life. And you possibly that could, could have tampered with your confidence at first. But I feel like you're getting ready to be the Knight of Wands. Confident, bold, courageous, all that. And you're getting ready to take this leap of faith. Okay. 
Um, but the Knight of Pentacles here, you guys could be freeing yourself from someone that's very materialistic. <clears throat> okay. Um, very lazy. You're having to walk away from this person to get this celebratory, um, to have this celebration, to have this victory, this achievement. Okay, because somebody around you is like, they're lazy. You can't depend on them for shit. They could be a deadbeat here. This could be a deadbeat parent or um, someone here is just into their looks. They're very materialistic. This could have been why this person was in and out with you possibly or couldn't decide because I feel like they were too scared about how you would see the real them, how you would view the real them here. So they could have been in and out, in and out. And I feel like what well, this could have been the lesson. This person had to walk away to do some introspection to actually heal themselves, to stop doing this shit okay to get themselves together but i feel like as the empress and the nine of pentacles i feel like you handle every situation with grace you weren't mean to this person you didn't do shit you just let them dig their own hole and i feel like they got their ass whooped and they're learning now <laughs> like but let's see what's what's the knight of wands right here two of pentacles yeah someone here is like juggling seven of swords the five of swords again the four of cups Queen of Cups with the King of Swords. That's you, Aquarius. So you could be setting boundaries here with someone here. You're needed to tell the truth to someone. Obviously, your person is Empress or this is you. But I feel like someone here wants to bring balance to you. This person, uh, balance in the situation I'm in. 919 on the clock. So this person could be a bit younger than you. They could um, have a lot of shit going on in their life right now. Like they're juggling a lot or they're trying to like make a decision. I feel like they're going to go for it. What's the Two of Pentacles? But the Two of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. I don't like that energy. Some of you guys have a, yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Some of you guys are having to choose between something old and something new. Okay, Queen of Wands with the Two of Swords. Yeah, you learned your lesson though. It's clear as day. Nine, nine of Wands with the Hierophant. You learned your fucking lesson here with the nine of wands upright. That's a lesson learned. If it was in reverse, this will be negative patterns on repeat and a lesson not learned here. Still being stubborn, still not listening. But with this upright like this, you learn something. So you're going with this new beginning. I feel like you're taking this risk and you're going to do it. It's going to be very, I feel like you're going to have to like move or do something to get whatever this is. Take this risk. Usually the nine of wands is very, um, fun they're very spontaneous a risk taker very adventurous very uh, brave but i'm getting you have two options here to be in and out with somebody that's probably in and out with you okay or to take a new opportunity that's going to bring about something stable something secure okay what's the knight of pentacles in reverse yeah the moon okay then we have, i keep saying this queen of cups so this could be a mother figure here that's getting ignored this Queen of Cups could be a mother figure. Um, yeah, you could be ignoring this person for some of you or leaving somebody behind here. It could be a Cancer. It doesn't have to be while well, we have the moon to the sun. Strong Twin Flame, possibly. So, yeah, somebody here is like very deceptive. Yeah, whoever this is right here with this... Um, Knight of Pentacles in reverse in the moon, Pisces energy. Someone is like very greedy, very greedy, very self-centered, very possessive, controlling. Whoever this Knight of Pentacles is in reverse, very like just annoying. They're lazy. They don't got no fucking job, no ambition, no drive. I feel like this is somebody else's energy here in y'all's energy. Could be somebody from someone's past. What's this moon? Yeah, four of cups. Yeah, five of wands, high priestess. <laughs> So there's like fighting or competition or drama behind the scenes because someone here is materialistic. They're not getting something from someone. Someone is taking their offer somewhere else. So this is why this person is like mad or discontent or upset or whatever. Who cares? What's the eight of cups? So I have a cancer moon. Yeah, five of wands. Someone is like really trying to stop someone from getting this victory. Okay, they're trying to really stop someone from getting this victory here. Someone is like trying to boss you around or tell you what to do or something like that. It's like, bitch, bye. You ain't even got no fucking job. What the fuck you going? You can't even control your own raggedy ass life. How you gonna tell me what to do? <laughs> like, bitch, please. So, 
yeah there's like fighting and shit competition somebody wants something that you're going towards or somebody doesn't want you to get something because they're what a snake it's like how you love somebody or or have somebody in your life and you don't want to see them prosper somebody's a loser so there's that but we had good shit all throughout this reading i'm not going to focus on the losers right now because they really drain my fucking energy i don't have the energy to do so <clears throat> let's see So, there's something Aquarius coming in. You're on the brink of something. Keep moving. Don't let fear or anxiety or worry about what, what this person might do or say. Fuck them. They ain't doing a goddamn thing. But sitting up here running their fucking mouths. And it could be dangerous. Call the police. Uh, call the police on their ass or take their ass to court. But ignore that offer. <laughs> this old offer, whatever the fuck this is. Yeah, didn't I just say? It says, tells others how to live their lives without looking in the mirror. Yeah, hypocritical of everyone, but is the biggest hypocrite. Yeah, I just feel like, yeah, you're learning about that. You're learning about someone that is like that in your life for some of you. And this card keeps coming out. Someone has secrets they want to use against you. And then it says, be careful of who you share your secrets with. They may get around. Yeah, so I feel like somebody here betrayed your trust. And somebody around you is the biggest liar, the biggest hypocrite that you've ever probably dealt with. Okay, pretending to be some shit that they're fucking not. And for what? So we have childhood issues. They thought they fixed, but they did not. And then we have family issues are holding them back from making better choices. Yeah, told you. Karmic love lessons that must be overcome. Yep, toxic twin flame journey masquerading as true love. Yeah, something here was a false twin flame journey because... My opinion of the twin flame journey is it's not toxic. If you sh like shift your perspective, it could turn karmic. Yes, if two people are in karmic energy and they decide to keep fucking around with each other. But spirit put this you and your person in separation because they didn't want you guys to. Y'all had to heal some shit on your own. Just period. If they would have let y'all stay together or if y'all would have kept coming back to each other and dealing with each other, things could have probably went left. Okay, but they didn't. I feel like something here didn't okay between you and this person like the love is still there there's there's still a, a chance to bring something back to life again but something was somebody had a false twin flame and they were a karmic here somebody from someone's past or whatever yeah something here was false about a karmic Hold something over others because they find it entertaining hold something over others to get them to do their bidding yeah so this could be what this fighting is about right here Aquarius I feel like you should ignore it pay it no mind here this person I feel like you could possibly be scared about what they're saying or something like that but don't don't let it scare you okay and then it says someone is spreading the tea because they are jealous and someone is spreading lies because they are intimidated and insecure and insecure yeah just let this bitch go on and keep talking Aquarius it don't even fucking matter it really does not matter they're unaware of an STD they may have obtained. Check up now. Spreading their legs and spreading their sexually transmitted disease. Oh. So someone here is lying about an STD, where it came from. So really be careful with that here. Yeah, because somebody is a knight of, wands, knight of wands with the two of pentacles. I feel like someone is juggling or they try to juggle you. And now they're trying to keep up this lie or... I don't know. They're trying to do something though with that shit. I don't know. Really be careful though, Aquarius. But this was your reading. Okay. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on. Make sure you guys press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings for when I post. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.